Waiting inside the courtroom by attorneys in the Kealoha trial as they finalize jury instructions. New filings also reveal how the defense plans to state its case during the closing arguments. Manola Morales has the details. The attorneys for Louis and Catherine Kealoha filed what's known as a theory of defense to add to jury instructions. Both of them, along with three HPD officers, faced charges of conspiracy for allegedly framing Gerard Puana for mailbox theft, but they also face additional charges. The attorney for the former police chief wants to tell the jury, if you cannot find beyond reasonable doubt that there was a conspiracy, you must find him not guilty as to all the counts. Similarly, for Catherine's case, her attorney says, if you cannot find beyond reasonable doubt that Ms. K. Law was a member of the conspiracy, then you must find her not guilty as to all the counts. It's just a way to be able to frame what is what their closing argument is going to be all about, so that way the jury will understand that's their theory of the case. Throughout the day, attorneys for both sides tried to come up with an agreement on the exact phrasing of jury instructions. Legal terms like overt act and strict and heavy burden were argued upon as each side tried to gain some sort of advantage. Words like that will matter if the judge allows them to go in and it goes back into the, the jury room because later on when the jury is trying to decide how seriously they should be taking the facts or, or um, how they should be deciding the case. Closing arguments are scheduled for Tuesday. Manolo Morales, KHON 2 News.